Okay, here's a problem. The computer was started and it's trying to load. That was the BIOS. And then in a few moments it will display an error message. This one. The boot selection failed because a required device is inaccessible. Okay, more exactly, the computer has one, two, and three, and another one, four hard drives there. And it's not starting from the hard drive which has the operating systems. It's starting from another one. Maybe there was an operating system on another hard drive sometime, but now it's not there. Okay, so to fix the problem, let's restart the computer. I just pressed enter. Is it restarting? If it does, then press delete to enter the BIOS. You can restart it with Ctrl Alt and delete also or the reset button. Okay, so I press delete and I entered BIOS. Okay, and let's go using the arrow keys. Let's go here to boot. Okay, and it says the first boot device is a hard drive. Serial ATA, free mega, western digital, blah blah blah. And the second one is a CD DVD drive. Okay, so the first boot device should be a hard drive, that's fine. The second one, the CD DVD, that's fine. But I should choose which hard drive should be the first one. So to do that, let's go here to hard disk drives and press enter. Okay, and we have these four hard drives and the operating system is on this one, the Kingston. Okay, and that should be here on the first position. Okay, now if you use the keyboard, minus will uh, bring a menu item down. Let's say the 3MWDC will be brought down. And if you use the plus, then the selected one will go up. So in this case, I'm going to go to the last one, the Kingston, and press the plus key the plus one, the large one and Kingston went up, it's there press it once again, Kingston is there in the second one and Kingston is there in the first position okay so I should boot the computer from the Kingston hard drive press escape to exit escape Okay, now even here it's showing the first boot device is a serial ATA hard drive and the Kingston and the second one is the CD DVD drive. Okay, now either go to security and exit and save changes and exit or just press F10 on the keyboard. F10. So save changes. Okay, and now let's see the result. The BIOS should load. The operating system selection menu should appear. And theoretically Windows should start. Here's the BIOS. Detecting things. And now it should boot. Yes, it is booting from the hard drive, which has three operating systems. Okay, it did not shut down correctly. So start Windows normally and now Windows is able to start. Okay, so just make sure you're booting from the desired hard drive. Currently I have multiple hard drives here and another one somewhere there. And voila, Windows is here. That's it. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.